today we will discuss about adaptive immunity so basically we understood how the innate immunity works first is barriers some barriers are there like skin epithelial tissues okay there are digestive tissues brain tissue reproductive tissues are there in that area we have mucous membrane okay so those mucous membrane will help us and uh, other than that we have saliva now we have tears okay all will protect us there are barriers barrier means uh, this is wall okay defense cells defense cells are like macrophages okay langerhans cells natural killer basophils mast cell so these are the cells which help and which will defense if the microorganisms enter then what will happen chemical defense mechanism will activate like interferons or complement inflammation inflammation is very very common okay we uh, see in most of the cases and second thing uh, here one thing you have to understood that number of patients have pain okay they have cervical pain they have lumbar pain they have a knee pain okay any pain it means there is the inflammation okay pain is there swelling is there redness is there okay and heat is there so because we have understood that there is something wrong so basically if you know that uh, that knee pain why why does the patient have knee pain because in the knee we have the lubricant which will help us to move the joint very flexibly freely if the lubricant decreases so what will happen the lubricant name is synovial fluid what will happen the move, the movable joint it is a movable joint and freely movable joint is knee okay because of synovial fluid if the synovial fluid decreases so what will happen our knee joints will touch each other and it will have friction okay so ye ragde jaate hain those cells which are present in that area so will damage and the area have arteries veins nerves okay you can absorb the swelling you have the redness pain okay heat so because of that reason we have that inflammation same problem in my neck same problem in the Lumbar. So, we have understood that uh, inflammation is the most common thing uh, nowadays in uh, lumbar area, neck area, and knee area. So, let's start adaptive immunity. So, adaptive immunity. Adaptive means like uh, someone doesn't have raising or a, a couple doesn't have uh, any baby, so what will they do? They'll adapt a baby. Okay, what will they do? They will adapt a baby from particular company uh, or any relative from any relatives, from friends, etc. Et so, here also, our body will adapt to this immunity. This immunity is not always present, it will. Uh, it will uh, produce according to the condition. Okay, it will produce according to the condition. Okay, so this is the thing. This is the name as adaptive immunity. Adapt means to become suitable. Adaptive immunity can become suitable for and response to almost any foreign entity. Adaptive immunity is specific and is carried out by lymphocytes and macrophages. So basically, adaptive here is suitable suitable means if the how the antigen antigen is there so to kill that antigen you need antibody when the antigen is pathogen maybe bacteria maybe virus anything okay so you need same type of person same type of 
immunity person to fight against that microorganism. Okay, so there is the reason we named as adaptive immunity. So adapt in the adaptive immunity, two things are very very uh, important. One is lymphocytes, and second one is macrophages, because with their mechanism only this adaptive immunity activate. Okay, the majority of lymphocytes are T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. So basically, we have two types of lymphocytes. One is T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes, or more simply T cells and B cells. Okay, in the embryo, T cells are produced in the bone marrow and thymus. They must pass through the thymus with the thiamic hormone bring about their maturation. The T cells then migrate to the spleen, lymph nodes, and lymph nodes, uh, lymph nodes and lymph nodules where they are found after the so here T cells and B cells, they are the types of lymphocytes, okay. T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. So basically, T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes are produced in bone marrow and thymus. Okay, bone marrow and thymus. So bone marrow and bone marrow and thymus. So from that area, it have go through spleen, lymph nodes, and lymph nodules. But one thing is necessary. What is one thing? Thymic hormone. Thymus release one hormone which will be responsible for uh, B, B cells and T cells to maturate, to maturation, okay, adultation. Okay. So basically, so this is the one hormone we require. Then they will uh, get uh, and they have the place like in spleen, lymph nodes, lymph nodules where they sit and will absorb, they will get the order or not, okay? Produced in the embryonic bone marrow, B cells migrate directly to the spleen and lymph nodes and nodules. When activated during an immune response, some B cells will divide many times and become plasma cells. They produce antibodies to specific foreign antigen. So here, uh, T cells, more than T cells, B cells have some more important. Why? Because B cells will uh, after B cells, B cells will multiply in large numbers and they produce plasma cells. What they produce? They produce B cells will multiply. Okay, and they produce plasma cells. Okay, plasma cells. Plasma cells will produce antibodies. But antigen against the specific antigen. If the antigen is, example, uh, any fungal infection or uh, typhoid, like typhoid, salmonella, typhi, is a bacterial infection. So, so antibodies are produced to kill that salmonella, typhi, bacteria. Yeah. Okay. Specific antibody. So, whenever typhoid bacteria attacks you, so we have antibody, it will easily kill that bacteria. Okay, Brad. Okay, so this is that's that's the reason it is adaptive immunity. So you have the brain, they can adjust, they can smell that bacteria again. The mechanism of immunity that involve T cells and B cells are specific, meaning that one foreign antigen is the target each time a mechanism is activated. A macrophages has receptors sites for foreign chemicals <laughs> such as those of bacteria cell walls or flagella, and may Fibrocytes just about any point material becomes across. T cells and B cells have become very specific as you will see. So basically, macrophages. What will macrophages do? Macrophages have receptors for foreign chemicals. They will release the chemicals. Okay, they will release the chemicals to kill the macrophage. And they will uh, indulge, they will intake the bacteria. And it will take into the lymphocytes. So lymphocytes will absorb, then B lymphocyte will activate, B cell B lymphocytes will multiply their quantity and produce plasma cells, and plasma cells will produce antibodies. So antibody will kill that bacteria. Specific antigen. So this is the uh, cycle cycle of any bac any bacteria 
which is killed by their specific antibody. Let's start with here. The first step. So what will happen? The first step in destruction of pathogen. Both T cells and B cells are capable of this, but the immune mechanism are activated especially well when this sequenization is accomplished with macrophages. And a specialized group of T cells called T helper cells, also called CDT4 T cells. We have to remember this. Uh, the foreign antigen is first phagocytes by macrophage and part of it were presented on the macrophage cell membrane. Also on the macrophage membrane are self antigens that are representative of the antigen found on all of the cell of the individual. Therefore, the T helper cell that encounter is macrophages is present and not only with the foreign antigen but also with self antigen for comparison. The helper T cell becomes sensitized to and specific for the foreign antigen, one that does not belong in the body. So basically, here the chain, the complete chain is going to understood. We are going to understand that the first first step, how the uh, and immune system recognizes, this is the very important thing. How this is an antigen, the body recognizes. So basically, first step is we have T cells and we have B cells. So I told you that the first step, the microphages will have chemical chemicals with uh, chemical receptors which it will understood that this is a foreign body. First thing. And the second thing that then the macrophages will activate the T helper cells. Okay. It is does not uh, attend directly to the T cells. It will take the help of T helper cells. Then, uh, then the second name is also CD4 T cells. The okay. second step is that. Third step is that then the CD4 or helper T cells will recognize this antigen is self or not. Okay. Uh, it is not only uh, dependent on macrophages. It is also look that this and this antigen is our on our material or foreign material. This is the very important step. So what will happen in the most of the uh, immunity disorders? What will happen? The most of the immunity disorder here is the basic miscommunication will happen. So CD4 helper cell, T cells, what will happen? They will recognize our own antigens as a enemy. Okay, here, you have to understand very, very important point here. So T helper cells will again recognize, is this our own antigen or is coming from the outside? Okay. So if it recognizes the R from outside, the work is very simple. It will go to the uh, T cells and it will tell them, hey, uh, the same, again, the same process will happen. We will discuss in detail. But here, what happened in the immunity disorders, immune disorders, what will happen? Here, that CD4 T helper cells will tell that our own antigens our own body cells as a enemy. Note what will happen. Our own body cells will kill our own body cells. Okay. So this is the thing it will happen in immune disorder. Okay. The recognition of antigen as a foreign initiates one or both of the mechanism of adaptive immunity. They are called cell-mediated immunity. So what is this process called? Cell-mediated immunity in which T cells and macrophages participate and antibody mediated immunity, which involves T cells, B cells and macrophages. So basically, uh, this is the first step, what will happen. Okay, we have to remember that. Next. After that, the cell, cell understood uh, the, which cell, the T cell, T helper cell understood that this is a, uh, our, this is coming from outside the body, okay, you have to kill that, it is perfectly okay. 
Next, what will happen? Next is cell mediated immunity. The mechanism of immunity does not result in the protection of antibodies, but it is effective against intracellular pathogens, fungi, malignant cells, and graft or foreign tissue. As mentioned earlier, the first step of the recognition of the foreign antigen by microphages and T helper cells, which are becomes activated and are specific. Understood? So here, uh, it uh, does not allow uh, to kill the bacteria, but it will help, such as virus, anything fungi, any tumor cells. Okay, so understood that is the foreign material who have to attack very rapidly. Okay, so according to that, the immune system will work. Okay, this activated T cells, they are antigen specific, divide when it has one memory T cells. So here, the uh, helper T cell will activate T cells, and T cells will activate memory T cells. And second is cytotoxic T cells, and other name is CD8 T cells. CD8 T cells. So CD4 and CD8. So these are the marker cells. Okay. Uh, if, if you uh, uh, if you advise to patient if any malignant tumor is there, okay, any anything is there, so we advise some patients, some doctors advise CD4, CD8 T cells, CD8 T cells, CD8 cells will help us if there any more toxins material in the body, okay, as there is a body is protein cytotoxic T cells, okay. The memory T cells. So here we have after. So uh, here again, I will explain. Here we have uh, antigen. So it will activate macrophages. It will take the help of T helper cell. The T helper cell will activate T cell. The T cell will activate. It will divide T memory cell and T cytotoxic cells okay the day another name is cd8 t cell and t helper cell name is cd4 t cell okay so after that what will happen the memory t cell will remember the specific foreign antigen become activated if it enters the body again so here here what will happen the t memory cell will recognize this specific antigen foreign body. So this is the thing we have to remember. So whenever body uh, receives this type of antigen, I have to produce same type of antibody. Okay, it will remove by Okay. Uh, cytotoxic T cells. What do cytotoxic T cells do? Are able to chemically destroy foreign antigen by disrupting cell membranes. It will demolish a membrane. It will kill the membrane. And the pathogen will kill particle. This is how cytotoxic T cell destroy infected with virus and prevent the virus from reproducing. These T cells also produce cytokines, which are chemicals that attract macrophages to that area and activate them to fibrocytes, the foreign antigen and cellular debris. So again, the which cytotoxic T cells, that is CD8 T cells, will activate. It have one chemical that is cyto. Cytokines. What will cytokines do? Cytokine activates more macrophages to come to that area and have to eat that virus. Phagocytes. Phagocyte. Okay, phagocyte means eating the macrophage. Okay, so then the will easily like uh, what will happen? You can see, see uh, an image that there is a sugar. If a sugar is there, so what will happen? Large amount of ants will come. To eat this sugar. If any ant, uh, any uh, uh, dead dead ant is there, so you see, I think you you seen that uh, in the on the roads, right, uh, road sides, hill sides, etc., etc. So what will happen? Large amount of ant will come on attack, and it will divide the pieces of this ant. Okay. So what will same like here also in the body? The phagocytic process will happen by the macrophages because 
cytotoxin CD8 T cells plaque will have on chemical that is cyto cytokines, cytokines, which will uh, do the microphages, the function called phagocytes. Here, one bacteria antibody is killed. It was uh, it was once believed that the that another substance of T cells serve to stop the immune response, but this may not be so. It seems probable that CD4 and CD8 T cells also produce feedback chemicals to limit the immune response once the foreign antigen has been destroyed. The T membrane cells, however, will quickly initiate the cell mediated immune response should be a future exposure to the antigen. So here the cell is killed, the antigen is killed. Now we have to decrease the immune response. We have to throw away all this and outside. Then only uh, we will uh, have uh, we will our body is in safe mode. But if the antigen more antibodies are coming, so it will disturb bone and uh, body cells. So then again, CD four and CD eight T cells have feedback chemical. They they have to uh, decrease the amount of uh, cells, microphagic cells, other cells, CD4 cells, CD8 cells, okay. That's the reason the automatically the immune response will decrease. Okay, so we have to explain uh, this patients also. Some patients after getting the treatment, the disease will increase. Some patients ask, why this is happening to me whenever I am taking the medicine or any remedy, electrohomeopathy remedy, or while doing acupuncture, most of the patients I saw that due to their immune response, first their disease increases and gradually decreases. Why this happen? Because of the immunity. Because their immunity is responding when you are giving the treatment, large number of antibodies are produced because the disease is in the uh, last from past 10 to 15 years is there. So their immunity is very sensitive. Whenever you give any treatment, they will activate and they will come rush for a large number of antibodies are there. Rush to the brain. So gradually, gradually, their body immune response understood that. So this treatment is healing that area. So then that area is not attacked by own antibodies. Okay. Initially, some patients will have the condition because the duration of disease is from the last many years. They are using the chemicals, chemical treatment, allergy treatment. And other mode of treatment, so their immunity becomes very very sensitive. Okay. So whenever, uh, whenever you are treating chronic diseases, sometimes the disease will increase and gradually will decrease. So how to explain that to okay. You can you can see that image. First is cell mediated macrophages is there. This is the foreign antigen. You have the self antigen receptor sites is there. So T helper cells came and will activate memory cells and also activate cytotic T cells. So cytotoxic T cells chemically destroy the foreign material. They also produce large number of macrophages. We are rounding that area and killing that. Next is antibody mediated. Next, what will happen? This is the first step. If the the if the uh, antigen is destroyed very easily, so the body will stop from here also. If the antigen, if the virus is more powerful, then these cells, what will happen? The first step is the recognition of the foreign antigen. This time by B cells. Next is if the same thing is not decrease so what will happen b cells will activate b cells so what will 
who will activate by macrophages and T helper cells. T helper cells will go to the B cells and macrophages will go, go to the B cells. Please help us. We are unable to kill the antigen. Like uh, uh, whenever a problem comes to you, so we'll explain to you know, big brother. If big brother is doesn't able to solve the problem, you go to the father. If the father is not able to solve the problem, then you will more than perfect for your father. So like that, our body will do same mechanism. So first, cell mediated immunity will destroy the antigen. If it is unable to destroy, so what will happen here? Antibody mediated immunity will activate you. Okay, so macrophages and T helper cells will go to the B cell, which provides a strong stimulus for the activation of B cells. So B cells will activate like that. Okay, the activated B cells begin to divide many times. First thing, what will happen? They will divide because the antigen is more powerful than our immunity. So first they have to divide, they have to become more powerful. And they also produce B memory cells. B memory cells and T memory cells is there. So B memory cells, one thing they, they will remember the antigen. Okay. And then initiate response upon a second exposure. Second time, whenever the antigen will affect, that's again B cell will activate. Because uh, first uh, they will uh, the cell immunity immunity activated, then uh, antibody immunity activated, like this, not gonna half not happen. Because body understood that this antigen is very harmful, I have to activate B cell. I need B cell help. So directly B cell will come and attack. Okay. Other B cells become plasma cells and produce antibodies specific for this one for an antigen. So here B cells will activate antigens, plasma cells, and plasma cells will produce antibody. Antibodies also called immunoglobulin Ig, IgG, IgG, immunoglobulins or immunogamma globulin are pretty shaped somewhat like the letter Y. Antibodies do not themselves destroy for antigens, but rather become attached to such antigens to label them for destruction. Each antibody produced is specific for only one antigen because there are so many different pathogens. You might think that the immune system would have to be capable of producing many different antibodies. And in fact, this is so. It is estimated that millions of different antibodies, antigen specific antibodies can be produced, should there be needed for them. The structure of antibodies shown. So easy, this is the structure of why it should be. This is like the Y and T bodies is attacked to the virus. This is the toxins. This is the bacteria. Bacteria is attacked by the anti bodies. So, this is opsonization. That is called opsonization. Whatever this is called opsonization for different types of antigens, antibodies, IgG. IgD, IgE, IgA, IgM. So basically, you have to understood that the uh, uh, during the COVID, by an example, everything during COVID. So the plasma therapy is given. So you uh, listen the plasma therapy during COVID. Number of patients received. Plasma therapy. Anyone? Yes, sir. Yeah, plasma therapy. Here, yeah, you have the best example of that. So, uh, the COVID, COVID and uh, COVID antigen enters. So, same. Uh, what will happen? Microphages activated. Microphages go to the T cells. Uh, the T, T helper cell, the T helper cell to T cells, T memory cells, uh, T memory cells and T cytotoxin cell. If the bacteria is not killed, then again macrophages and uh, T cells 
T helper cells will go to the B cells and it will activate. The offer a strong stimulation, B cells will activate. Then the B cells activate with number of multiplication. Then B cells will uh, produce or uh, have some plasma cells. Plasma cells produce and cells. So plasma cells. Here the plasma cells. This is the very important because if you use plasma, so what will happen? It will produce antibodies. So there's the reason plasma is taken from that body and it is given to the uh, suffered person or uh, who is uh, having COVID-19, they are giving the plasma substance of the person who is cured because he has the antibodies to kill the COVID antigen. Okay, likewise, our immune system works very good. So we named as IgG. IgG are the own antibodies for uh, that specific antigen. So body produce one antigen, one antibody for one antigen. Okay. So number of infection is number of antibodies. Okay. The antigen antibody complex also is to create the process of complement fixation. Some of the circulating complement proteins are activated or fixed by antigen antibody complex. Complement fixation may be complete or partial. If the foreign antigen is cellular, the complement protein bonds to the antigen antibody complex. There is no one element. So I think uh, it is not so important. Okay. Uh, adaptive immunity is very specific. The summary and it has memory. Okay, and it will repeat and it will protect whatever exposure will happen. So, this is the thing very important. Next is antibody response. So, we have uh, likewise uh, the antibody response will happen. Antigen does stimulate antibody production, but antibodies are produced slowly and in small amount. So, here uh, antibodies will not produce rapidly, it produce very slowly. Okay. Like here, one example is given already. An example is given uh, when is uh, uh, a COVID, COVID, and COVID. Uh, COVID antigen, okay, COVID antigen. Well, here, example is measles virus is given. So basically, the same uh, pattern will happen in the body. So basically, they, they are uh, depending upon the uh, immunity, the source of immunity, we have the uh, different types of immunity, like genetic immunity. It is coming from the uh, father's ancestors and acquired immunity. And I think it's uh, second. First is Genetic immunity on is acquired immunity. Acquired immunity after birth uh, and uh, it will develop gradually. But in uh, genetic immunity is coming from the father, grandfather, from uh, parent, uh, parent uh, from father, fathers or mothers. Okay. So this is the we will discuss in the coming class. So I think you understood very easily about adaptive immunity. So basically there are different types of antibodies are there. We will discuss as well as we will talk about AIDS also. So here T helper cell is not activated and it will discuss this will it will understood that our own antigens have our own antigens have foreign body. Okay. So T helper cell is very important C D4 and C D eight. Very important. So, if you anyone have any doubt, you can ask. So, this is the antibody mediated macrophages, chem, self antigen receptors, T helper cells, B cells, and activated B cells again activated B memory cells, plasma cells, plasma cells produce antibodies. Specific antibody uh, is attached to that area. So, to have to process that is uh, complement fixation here. And secondly, optional Okay. So this is the process how the immunity is attacking on the problematic area. 
sustainable and it develops through campus.